Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we've done an awful lot of TIG welding on aluminum. And one of the problems with welding aluminum is that it, uh, it challenges just about everything from your machine to your tungsten. Well, today I've been welding so much that my torch is starting to get hot. This is an air-cooled torch, and I get a lot of letters and calls from you asking why do you use a, an air-cooled torch instead of a water-cooled? In fact, when do you use an air-cooled torch instead of a water-cooled torch? Well, here's the way I like to describe it, because uh, this is one of my favorite air-cooled torches. Now, you'll notice I've got the Superflex cable, and I've got the flex head. This particular torch has a single line to it, and so it's got the power cable and the argon travels through that single line. And it's very nice, it's very convenient, and very flexible. So uh, this torch is rated at 150 amps. Now, I happen to be welding with a machine today that will go up to 200 amps. But at 150 amps and continued welding, this torch will heat up. It'll heat up to the point where you can hardly hold on to it. And at that point, you have to make a decision. Now, the decision is either let it cool down because you're, you're really going over capacity of the torch, or you'll start smelling this torch burn inside. It, it's kind of a, a rubbery smell. So you're actually just overheating the head. Now, uh, the choice is this. Whenever you're welding with portable use, you typically want an air-cooled. But if you have a machine that is at the 200 amp mark, that's the maximum amperage that it'll put out, you probably want to stick with this. 150 amp, it'll handle about 90% of all your welding. Now, you can step it up, you can go to one torch bigger. Now, once you do that, then the torch is huge. It's hard to work with. So you may make a decision to change, and you can change any machine that you want from an air-cooled to a water-cooled. So really, what are the decisions? Well, let's take a look at this torch right here. You can jump up to water-cooled, and you need to know that there's a range or a cost associated with going up to water-cooled because you've got to add a water-cooler, and you've got to add all the connections to it. You've got to go to a water-cooled torch, and I'm going to pull the handle off this, and you'll notice that there's three lines here. So you're going to have three cables, and you're going to have to put a sheath around it because they're going to be like spaghetti. And so you've got the added cost of this water-cooled torch. This is a 250 amp torch. It's called a 20, a 20 style. Yeah, so anytime you have a 20 style, uh, you can accept components that fit the 9 or the 20. Sometimes you'll hear it called a 2 series. So just know that you can put gas lenses on it, jumbo gas lenses, pyro. There's every component you can think of for this torch. And the neat thing is it's still small but 250 amps, so you never have to, uh, have to change the machine out again. Once you go water-cooled, then uh, this torch will never get hot on it. It'll get maybe a little warm, and that's about it. Now, let's just suppose that you decided that you wanted to get a bigger power supply, and you went up to a 350-amp power supply. Well, you know, you can still start off with air-cooled, and as your products get heavier duty, you're going to have to ramp up. You're going to have to step up to the plate and go water-cooled. Now, this is not something that I heavily recommend. I, I typically like to even put this torch, this 250 amp torch, because very, very seldom do you ever go above 250 amps. But when you get into heavy wall aluminum, you get into half inch plate, that torch is even too small. So now you have to go to what I call the club. And this club, it's as bigger as you can tell. And it's got three lines as well. Now, I want you to make sure that you understand that once you go up to this size, the cables change. You've got three cables. The cables that you just had for that 20 no longer exchange to each other. So just know that, that this is a very specialty, heavy-duty application only. Okay, now let's get to cost. If you want to upgrade any machine and go water cool the torch, the, the accessories, here's the range. You're looking at between $600 and about $1,200. So look around and see if you can buy things in packages. And, and when I say that, don't buy a torch and buy the back cap and buy the cables. Buy it all bundled together. And typically you get about 30 to 40% off by doing that. So that was just kind of a TIG tip I wanted to share with you. And again, there's the, the 20, and it's a flex head. Make sure 
you get the one that you want. Not all 20s are flex heads. It needs to have a, an F on the back of the 20 or a flex, so you know it's a flex head. Uh, and this one right here is the 18. This is the beast. So uh, thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.